Coming up on the 4 Minute Sports Daily, we ask the most important question that you could possibly ask. Does Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manford actually have internet access? All of that and trust me, a whole lot more coming up on the big show today. I am Dave Duboff. This is uh, the 4 Minute Sports Daily, my daily attempt to uh, try to bring you the world of sports in 4 minutes or less. And as you all know, at this point, two and a half weeks into the show, I generally fail miserably at getting this done in 4 minutes or less. Uh, but at least I try. <laughs> um, hey, listen, if you haven't subscribed to the big show, uh, please go ahead. I'm told I'm supposed to grovel for this. I hit the uh, red the red subscribe button. Okay, so now, in all seriousness, <laughs> the, the um, Miami Marlins um, tested positive for the coronavirus. And, and I say Marlins because it wasn't one, it wasn't two, it wasn't three, it wasn't four. Well, at one point, it was just four Marlins tested positive for the coronavirus. And then they thought, well, Don Mattingly, the manager of the Marlins at that point thought, well, we could still go ahead and play the game anyways. What the hell? Why wouldn't we go ahead and still play the game even though we just had four people test positive for the test that we're testing for? <laughs> Which makes absolutely no sense in the world. That has led to 14 people so far at the time we did this podcast inside the Marlins organization testing positive for the coronavirus. At the time we did this podcast, they were still in Philadelphia. At the time we did this podcast, the um, Major League Baseball had canceled numerous games uh, tied to this game. So the Marlins got their Orioles game canceled and the Yankees got their Phillies game canceled. Um, not sure how many more games are going to be canceled as a result of this. However, you can place these coronavirus positive tests officially on the shoulders of Rob Manford, the commissioner of Major League Baseball, who has no business in the world in a world that has a pandemic running around on it. My joke about this is that that this pandemic is traveling across the country the same way Burt Reynolds did in that classic 1981 film, Cannonball Run. He's literally all over the place. Like, there is no way you can hold sports like this in our country with the virus being so viral and still being so out of control in so many different pockets around the country. There is no vaccine yet. And even if there was a vaccine available, it would be a long time before we were going to be able to get everybody vaccinated. So the best way to do this is to set up some sort of bubble. So I started to think about this. What? Does, does Rob Manford, the commissioner of Major League Baseball, not have access to the internet? Has Rob Manford not seen the coronavirus charts? Has Rob Manford no control over Major League Baseball teams that would allow a team that just had four players tested positive for the coronavirus to even allow that game to go on? <laughs> like, did, did Rob Manford on a telephone call from a phone booth tell, <laughs> tell Don Mattingly game on? I'm just wondering, like, where is Rob Manford in the world of technology at this point? It is absolutely ridiculous that you think you could take all of these Major League Baseball teams and go all playing trains and automobiles with them across the country and not expect them to have a major coronavirus outbreak. It is one of the most ridiculous things I've seen in Major League Sports by a group of owners and a leader or suspect leader that is Rob Manford. I, I have to say, this is just unbelievable. I mean, at least in the National Basketball Association, Adam Silver got together and said, we have to do this in a bubble. They've said, we have to do this in a bubble in all other sports. 
the National Football League is going to encounter basically similar issues to Major League Baseball, which is why the NFL season is in jeopardy. The Major League Baseball season could have easily gone, <laughs> it should have, probably still could go and be played in some sort of bubble. And that is exactly what Rob Manford needs to do. It is the most obvious thing in the world. <laughs> look, look, I was telling a friend this earlier today. I said, look, I said to him, I said, look, you know, predicting this failure of Major League Baseball is as easy as being a weather forecaster in Southern California, you know, because it's going to be like 80 degrees, sunny, 325 days a year. <laughs> Just absolutely ridiculous. All right. Um, thanks so much for, for, uh, for, for tuning in <laughs> to the four minute sports, uh, uh, sports daily. Um, one last note on the Marlins. Um, and, and not just a Marlins. Look, I, I know Major League Baseball in all seriousness is, is trying to figure out how to do this. And, and it's commendable, but you got to do it in some sort of bubble. And, and for them to not do that shows a clear lack of understanding of what they're actually dealing with. And you see it all the way down, not just like the players are well more, are certainly more informed than Don Mattingly, the manager of the Marlins. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Anyways, um, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, check out our big website at mighty.rip. Um, new stories up about uh, the Jamal uh, Adams trade uh, that happened over uh, over the weekend. Uh, plus, we've got a great story about Lou Williams going hunting for dinner, um, and a bunch of other new things. Uh, they're going to be back up on the uh, on the site in the next day or so. Um, statistically, the site's doing fantastic. Um, uh, uh, you know, over, I think we cleared 350,000 page views this month. So thanks for all of your support. Subscribe to the big red button, um, uh, when you have a chance and for <laughs> the four minute sports daily, I am Dave DeBach reminding you that sometimes players, coaches, and front office folks make horrifically bad decisions. Bill O'Brien. <laughs>